All right, it's Friday morning. Super pumped and excited because we are going to do a van tour today of Beck and Gaz, the We Who Roam van. Looks awesome. So we're going to go meet them now. friends. Here we are in Victoria. We met some really super cool new friends that I'd like to introduce you to. I'm Beck. And I'm Gary. And they took this old postal van and converted it into a really amazing tiny home that they're going to give us a tour of. All right, so just to get to know our new friends, we have a bunch of questions that we just want you to answer. So say the first thing that comes to mind. You guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Dogs or cats? Cats. cats. Chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> Biggest pet peeve? Beck. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe he's a little bit too strict with Ooh, cleanliness. To be okay. <laughs> do you like olives? No. Yes. Something you wouldn't do for one million dollars. If it involves something with needles, then <laughs> <laughs> like getting needles put all over your body. Yes. No. You couldn't give me like you couldn't give me hundred million for that. I can't really think of anything. So you <laughs> he would anything? do anything for money. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> What's your favorite pizza topping? No. Aussie. Aussie. Without onion. No onion. We don't know what an Aussie. What is an, an Aussie? Aussie what is an Aussie? It's ham, egg, bacon, barbecue sauce. What's your favorite thing to drink? Beer. Probably coffee. Are you guys late, early, or on time? <laughs> <laughs> I'm early and she's always late, so. It's on right. time? <laughs> if it doesn't even yeah, even out sometimes. What is your favorite emoji? Um. The sticky, the tongue sticky out face one. This one. Probably the angry face. <laughs> angry. <laughs> angry face. That says a lot about us, doesn't it? Yeah. Is it wrong for vegetarians to eat animal crackers? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely I, not. <laughs> I'll, I'll allow it. Have you ever worn socks with sandals? <laughs> As a joke? <laughs> mm, I think I've worn socks with heels before. But they were <laughs> That's coming in. That's coming yes. in. They were like cute heels, so it worked. So yes or no? Technically, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was there. a joke. Cake or pie? Cake. Cake. <laughs> Is double dipping at a party ever acceptable? No. no. <laughs> From one to ten, how hot do you like your shower? Ten. Five. <laughs> You're the DJ on a road trip. What do you play? <clears throat> <laughs> Here we go. Beach Boys, Jack Johnson, Van Morrison, Fleetwood Mac, oh, Tom Petty. Yeah, you can go down. <laughs> Metal. What is your spirit animal? Sloth. <laughs> I don't know what mine is. A cat, maybe? But more like a wild cat. Like a lion, maybe. And the last one. Do you like pina coladas or getting caught in the rain? Out of the two? Out probably of the pina two, coladas? I'm going to say pina coladas, <laughs> but I will gladly take both at the same time. You know that song? Yeah. Do you like pina coladas? <laughs> <laughs> the oh, <yeah>. same thing. <laughs> So what drew you to van life? Like, why did you want to live this lifestyle and take this journey? Why not? Hmm. Basically. I wanted to do it while I was young enough. I didn't want to have to wait until I was old and retired and then go travel. I'd rather go do it now while, I'm, while I've got the energy. While you've got the energy <laughs> and the desire. How long did it take you guys to build this? Well, I mean, technically it took, it was done over a year, mm. but during that year, we were both working at least two jobs. I was working three jobs for a while. Mm. So we only really had one day every week to, to kind of to work on it. it so. Done. so welcome to our home. Come on in. So tell us what, what year and the specs of your van. Uh, well, it's a 2008 uh, Mercedes Sprinter 315 CDI, um, extra long wheelbase, super high roof. Yeah. yeah, look at how tall he is. Look at that speed. <laughs> so Gary is six yeah. foot four. Yeah, he's not five feet. He's like... <laughs> Gary is six foot four yeah. and... Look at that. There we go. So Joe is really jealous. Yeah. <laughs> Joe actually instinctively <laughs> crouched crouch yeah. down. Yeah. Don't need to do that here. <laughs> Thank God. No, this is awesome. Show us, show us your kitchen area. Ah, yes. Well, this is our kitchen area, so we've got kitchen sink, um, 
our stove goes up here, so we keep our stove under here uh, when we want to use it. You lift up the back, come up there, you connect the gas to the side and there's your stove. So we did it that way, um, so you so can either cook, cook in the van or if it's a really hot day or you know you don't want to cook inside, you can cook outside. We've got a camp table and you can put it outside on the camp table. Um, we've got the uh, nine kilo gas bottle, um, our fresh water on the 30 litre there and a 20 litre for grey water. Um, it's controlled by a foot switch, so you can keep your hands free. So that way you save a bit of water when you're doing dishes because you don't have to stop and turn the tap off. So. so how often do you find you're refilling that jug? Um, well this one here, the fresh water probably runs out maybe three quarters of a week to a week, depends on how we're using it. Mm. Um, but we carry spare water in the back as well. Mm. Um, and grey water seems to be about the same because we drink most of the fresh water. So mm. by the time that's full, it's time to refill anyway. So every morning you guys, do you have a routine or? Get up. Yeah, slowly get up. Slowly and get up. Uh, make tea and coffee at yeah. the same time. So we'll have the kettle and we'll have a little coffee pot going. Yep. So you drink them at the same time or one? <laughs> I, I drink coffee. He'll have the coffee. Yeah. I'll make up my tea and just have it sitting there. And then once we've finished with breakfast and everything, it's like the perfect temperature. Just to sit there and enjoy over like half an hour. So what was your family's reaction to your decision to build a van and live in it? They were all for it. Yeah. Well, my they, family loved it. And... Honestly, everyone was kind of like, I can see you doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, nobody was really that surprised. Um, it, yeah, if anything, everyone's like, ah, this is, this is so cool. You, you guys mm. are gonna love it. So everyone's been so supportive. And what do you guys plan to do for work while living in the van? Um, this will be yours. Well, I'm currently contracting doing graphic design work um, for the place I just left as a full-time employee. So I'll continue doing that um, for as long as they want it or as long as I enjoy it. Mm. Um, if not, then I might go freelance, do more graphic design work, or not sure. Do you, yeah, nothing planned. It was our intention to, you know, both just pick up on the road work, like equally, and um, and then yeah, Gary's opportunity came up to stay with his, yeah, with his previous employers, and all of a sudden I went, oh, I've gone from working six days a week to working none, and. I don't reckon I, I'm going to try and find some work on the road. I don't know what yet, but I, I'm not used to being idle. Yeah. I, I have to do something and I feel like I should be contributing. <laughs> um, so these is where we store majority of our clothes. So these two are Gary's and then I have two at the back which are designated mine. So you want to have a look. So everything seems to fit in quite nicely. There's a bit of space in there. Um, so they're great. So we did just add in some extra strong um, magnets to stop things from yeah. popping open. So it is quite a, um, you know, you have to give it a little bit of a tug to open it, but that's a good thing. They've never popped open once while we were driving. So they work really well. One of my favorite features. Uh, we do have a hang closet, which you want to have a look. Uh, so it goes all the way back um, to the divider. And so that's where majority of my dresses and a few of Gary's things are stored. The kitchen stuff, we've got top drawers, got our cutlery and TV remote. A few odds and ends. <laughs> can we can we talk about the TV? Let's, ah, let's show yes. the TV. You want to talk about the TV? Amazing. Yep. Yeah, since the remote's there. The remote is the prompt for the TV. <laughs> um, the TV lives up here. Oh. So it's just got a strap around it to stop it coming out. But if you slide the strap down, it comes out and then curtains go back behind and you've got the TV on an arm there. We wanted it to be comfortable, so one of the things we used to do was watch a lot of movies, so we can still yeah. do that. Uh, the next drawer down, we've got um, drinking glasses, plates, bowls, mm. yeah, good size. Lots of storage. And the bottom one is uh, cooking, so fry pans, measuring cups, plastic containers, uh, spare tea towels, that kind of stuff. This cupboard, we've got our awesome. rubbish bin and recycling bin, which slide out. Um, we've got a toaster and a microwave, so we can heat up food, leftovers, whatever we need. I love the microwave. Um, fire blanket, of course. Don't want to burn the place down. Safety first. <laughs> That's it. Um, on this side, we've got food storage, um, coffee pot, 
just general food, everything else. We've got racks here that slide out. The plastic containers here, and they're just on a non-slip mat to stop them sliding around inside. <laughs> what was the most expensive one item that's in this van? Fridge or batteries? Fridge. Fridge? Yeah. The fridge. The fridge was the yeah. most expensive. Do you want to show the fridge? Show us your fridge. Yeah, so our fridge is under the bed. Um, we lock it while driving, so open the side cupboard and there's a latch in there. Fridge comes out. And there's our fridge. With all the necessities. Amazing. <laughs> what was the most stressful thing during your build? Probably each other. <laughs> like, I, cause I like to build by just kind of doing it. Just making it up as you go with yeah. that. Just seeing what works. Uh, well, there is, I'm very much a planner. Yeah. And I don't like doing anything unless I've got it all down on paper. I've done all the measurements. I've done, thought of every possible scenario and made sure it was the right one. So we clashed yeah. a fair bit in the build. <laughs> so show us your bedroom now. Um, on the side of the bed here, we've got two storage bins. So um, that's got our laundry and also storage that goes right down. So that goes down to the floor of the van. Uh, the back one here is where we store um, our bathroom gear and a lot of my camera gear. Um, tripods, that kind of stuff like that stays back there as well. Uh, we've got the bookcase above there. So that was my one question. I saw those Harry Potter books up there and I was wondering if there was something that you absolutely insisted on bringing. Yes, mine was the Harry Potter books. Um, honestly, it doesn't feel like a house without them. I needed a mirror. That, that's, a, that's a third must have in, uh, in our van. I needed a mirror of some kind. Um, so obviously I'm at a good height for this. Lovely, but Gary can right it's, uh, now see it's a bit low about here. this much. No. <laughs> um, so good in his beard. Exactly, you can't, even, um, can't even see the beard. So we engineered a little, a little hinge, which allows yeah, Gary to use it at his correct height. <laughs> <laughs> and we can actually both use it at the same time. Yeah. yeah. If I'm being patient, I'm not kicking him out. So, oh yes, we love these as well. So these are our little fold-up hooks. Now, does your van have a name? Not yet. No. <laughs> Not yet. So we'll see. It's maybe I'm hoping one will come will just come naturally, but I want to name it. But we'll as of right now. We'll <laughs> as see. of right now, no name. No name. Uh, so this is our Max fan, which we absolutely love. Um, so we can go both uh, sucks air in or pushes it out and it's a godsend. We love it. I wish we had two. The thing with um, moving into the van is we knew we were going to have to work at some stage so we're going to need power to charge laptops or make sure all our phones are properly charged all the time. So we've got four house batteries um, totaling 480 amp hours and we've got two 250 watt solar panels up on the roof and there's a 40 amp solar charge controller. There's also a, a 20 amp DC to DC charger so we can charge off the alternator of the van and we have a 40 amp 240 volt so if we're at a powered campsite or we're staying a house sitting we can plug in a 240 volt and that gives the batteries a, a proper deep charge which will make them last longer as well. With the roof um, being fiberglass uh, it was really hard to find roof racks I don't think anyone makes roof racks for this van so when it came time to actually fix our solar panels to the roof it was a bit of a mission uh, a bit of a struggle so we ended up getting some aluminium box tubing, I think it was 25 by 25 mil. And we've used a, a UV stable Sikaflex to actually glue the panels onto them. And then they run parallel with the sides of the van, stuck directly to the roof. So this is the back of our van. Um, here we have a whole bunch of stuff from Bex yoga mats. Oh yeah. Uh, we've got paddles. Um, there's cool. two inflatable stand-up paddle boards. They're under the back here. Inflatable, inflatable stand-up paddle boards. Yeah, and they work quite well. So they're not flimsy. Or, they're actually really good. They're awesome. Um, we've got our aqua cube, our hot water system with our shower. Um, we've got containers with um, unfinished projects that I still need to do in the van. <laughs> uh, to add some more lighting yes. in here and there, and uh, make some small changes to stuff. And spare camera equipment. Um, we've got an uh, air compressor for the tires. So if we get a flat tire, um, we can fix that with our puncture repair kit and pump it back up again. Um, we've got two mountain bikes back there, 
our spare water tanks. So we've got another 30 litre and a 20 litre of fresh water here. And so we just swap them out into the other container if we run out in the front. Um, Two camp chairs. Yeah, we've got camp chairs. And strapped up top, we've yep. got the, grab that. Yep, so underneath here, we've got we've our got table. table here. So that unclips and then slides out. Voila. And that's our camp table. So awesome. We don't have to empty everything out to get that out, which is good. And it just slides back up and clips up. Has van life brought you guys closer? <laughs> uh, you, I definitely think after all of our years together that it has taught us things about each other that we hadn't realised. Um, but it, I think it'll, I think it's kind of made us realise that we do work really well together, even with yeah. our differences. Yeah, we are very different we are in a lot of different, different ways, but it still kind of works out. It still works. Yeah. And honestly, he would be the only person in the world I could ever imagine doing this lifestyle with. I think everybody else would drive me crazy, you know, or I'd prefer to be by myself. He's the only one that I can, that I, yeah, that I can tolerate. <laughs> <laughs> and on a sweet note. <laughs> well done. So I sort of, answer this but is there anything you plan to get out of van life like anything you're kind of hoping for on this just experience and, and seeing all the places mm -hmm. a lot of people go overseas to travel and i think yeah, i'd rather miss, see australia more. they miss their yeah. what's so amazing and, and wonderful about their own country they just don't see it or they don't give themselves a chance to find out what's out there in their own backyard um what better yeah, way to do it what better way to do it and lastly, what advice would you give to any people who are thinking about living the van life? Do it. Do it. Just do it. Do it. Jump in and um, do it. That's what we did. Just, you're going to have doubts. Um, you're going to be, you're going to freak yourself out when you realize what a big undertaking it is and often the, double your budget as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, but absolutely just do it. Yeah. Give it a try. If it doesn't work out. What have you lost? What have you lost? You've, You've given it a go. You can say that you yeah. that you that you tried it. That's it. And <laughs> that's a wrap. <laughs>watching hopefully you guys like this video we were so excited to grab a drink with Beck and Gaz that we totally forgot to film an outro but if you want to know more about them go to the description below they're at we who roam on Instagram and give them some love they're down in Tasmania right now having a blast and if you like this video remember to like and subscribe see ya